Hello, all you wonderful people. Welcome back to the Chaos Craft server. Oh my god. Fancy's recording a video. Who knew? Yes, I'm a figment of your imagination. No. I'm here. I'm back. It's okay. Um, I'm kind of disappointed because I just recorded the video. I tried to record this video twice before this. And I had problems on both times. The first problem, I was being antisocial. The second problem, the audio didn't record. Ah! It's okay. It's okay. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. It happened a second ago. That's okay. Um, first things first, we need some food. Um, we're gonna go to... We're gonna, Cor we're gonna go to Cor's, Cor's bus. We're gonna get some food. Um, what... what? Does he have any? Okay. What? He got no food? Care. Okay, here we go. Um, I give you some, give you some wood. And here's some stairs. Thank you. I'm gonna take that. Thank you very much, Cora. Your generosity is much appreciated. Oh my god, that's huge. Vada, come on. Alright, I saw this last week. I'm gonna tell you about this before we get into the video. Um, you used to be able to see the castle, like, from right here. And now you have to, like... Now you only get to see it for a little bit before this blocks it. So you're walking down. You should be able to see it right here. And gone. Ha ha. Thanks, Vatic. I love you. Uh, I guess you can still see it when you're going head on. But it's still kind of disappointing. So now I'm going to talk about the castle. I'm going to talk about the castle. I've, made, I've been working secretly on it um, these past few months here and there. Not long enough at e not long enough intervals for me to record it, but just enough for me to you know get some stuff done. So as you can see, it doesn't look horrible. We actually have the towers that resemble the shop, right there, and they're actually green, which is great. I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm ecstatic, just looking at it. So we're making progress on the castle. This top part looks kind of plain. I'm gonna have to tear it down and figure out something. And I'm going to have to fix this bottom part eventually. Make it look a little bit more stone. I might actually use stone so it looks like the castle's sitting on top of it. Ugh, I got a burp. If you ever play RuneScape, I'm trying to like go for a Lumbridge feel. You probably don't know what that is unless you've played RuneScape. I played it when I was like nine. I remember back in the day, Fancy Blue playing the RuneScape. That's right. <laughs> I'm retro. So... Um, there's a couple other changes that I made. Uh, I made a staircase going up here, and this now connects to this part of the castle. I have a feeling that this entire castle is just going to be hallways, and I don't want that. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to, like, block this off or something. So, um, let's do just that. Let's just get some of this, and I'm just, this is gonna be temporary. Like, it's not gonna look like this. But, um, I just need a wall so I know it's a wall, so that next time I see it, I'm like, oh, that's ugly. So then I fix it. Hmm. What else can I do? I think I should move this back a little bit? Nah, it's okay. So, I don't know if I want this blocked off or not. It's kind of weird looking. It is kind of weird looking. And one thing is that I don't want, like, too many ways to get around. Like, I want this to kind of be like, you've got these staircases, I guess you can go this way. So one thing I might do is uh, block this off. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So we're going to block this off right here. You can only look down, but you can if you can't climb up these staircases, you're going to walk that way. Sorry, bro. Um, the only way to get here is uh, through another part of the castle. Because, if you remember correctly, this is supposed to be a PvP map. And we have to prevent people from being dumb and cheating. So, yeah, that's right. All right, um, I'm not d doing too much explaining right now. <laughs> Should be talking about my time away, maybe? Come on, Fancy. So, um, as you know, I've been in university fall semester. I call it university because some British people are like, Oh, you go to college? Oh, that's not, that's easy. No, this is university. <laughs> university is time consuming. <laughs> so, um, that's what I've been doing, allocating all my, my resources my mental resources too, making sure I don't fail everything, and I think I was successful at that feat. So now I'm in an intercession, the winter intercession, winter session, and I have free time. Isn't that great? I'm so happy. 
so now here we are on the Chaoscraft server, and, and thus I'm able to record again. So um, currently I'm majoring in what is it, computer engineering, which is which is wonderful. Um, I haven't really done any computer engineering classes; it's just been like physics and calculus and all the fun stuff that everyone knows about that a freshman might take at college. However, it's it was still you know still challenging, but I pulled through. It was great. Um, coffee was good. Lots of coffee. Late nights. But it wasn't really, you know, it's not, not too exciting. It's just, just a thing to do. <laughs> you know, going to college. So, but we're not here for that. We're here to build on the Chaoscraft server. But that leads me to another thing I want to talk about. Is that, like, you know, in my time away, I, I really thought about like what I really want to do with the channel and I kind of want to get into more talky stuff. How, however fun building is, I feel that I can use my voice, you know, more po more powerful, m more powerfully? What is it? I just feel that it's more important to speak my mind than to show you how many fancy cute houses I can make. So I might, I might switch the format just a little bit. Um, Let's Builds are always kind of more on theory than building itself and I just kind of showed that just little ideas and I kind of want to do that more in Chaoscraft so what I'm what you might see is that I might build a little bit but it's more on talking the building's kind of like set back to the main idea of the episode which may or may which would be something that I choose that day to talk about or a topic because uh, I you know in the time I've developed new hobbies like one thing I love to do I might even talk about it right now one thing I love to do is to is to um, collect games. I've been collecting older games as of recently. And it's amazingly fun. And I don't get to tell anyone because <laughs> no one cares. But maybe you care. So the idea of it is that... Um, well, the concept behind it is that new games are expensive. 60 bucks each. If you buy 16 new games, that's $1,000. No one likes that. No one likes... No one likes... Uh, <laughs> Paying all their money. So, what I do is I realized, you know, PS2 games are kind of cool. Like, older games are kind of cool. And you can go to a flea market and buy them for like two bucks. And that's significantly cheaper than uh, buying a $60 game. But oftentimes you can find games of value because these retro games have value. So, like, you know, one time I went and I found a, a game, you know, and I bought it for two bucks. And it was Kingdom Hearts for the PS2. And that game's like 15 bucks for $2. So now I made money. It's great. It, it's super fun. Excitement level 1 million. Um, and that's kind of what I've been doing in my free time to keep me from getting sad <laughs> because of college. So um, that's a new hobby. I don't know if I want to document that where I go with a bud, videotape my finds, and, and then upload, upload them on YouTube because everyone does that. I don't know if you guys care. It's just a little side thing I do myself. Um, but if you do care, maybe I, I can do it. I'll bring a camera and we'll go. It's okay. Um, sometimes you find something really cool. Um, I found a bunch of stuff. Like I saw, I saw like Shadow of the Colossus just sitting on a shelf. I'm like, two bucks. He's like, yeah, sure. I'm like, oh my God, <laughs> this is a thing I can do. Yeah, so it, it, it's really unique. I love it. That's just what I've been doing. So, now what I'm going to talk about is stuff that you guys actually care about, which is like the castle and stuff. Also, what's behind this wall? Oh, I know what's behind that wall. I'm not going to show that. Secrets. Secrets! So, um, I've been working on this castle. I'm going to show you some of the things I've m m changed and done. I don't know if I've shown you, like, this kind of room. You know, this is now multi-level. So, you can see from the bottom floor all the way up to the tippy top of the dome, which is only like the fourth floor out of like eight floors of the castle which is why I'll never get done with the castle I'm convinced I'm just gonna make it as good as possible but um a couple other things I've done I showed you the staircase this staircase actually goes up a couple more floors but now I don't know how to get there I think I'm gonna have to go into a room and then go through a secret door right here and hey we're here this goes up another floor to the third floor which actually leads if you go, if you were to go across from here, you would find the uh, 
like a little sky sky thing. What do you call this? A courtyard, an internal courtyard. And you can look at the night sky and sit on a bench and talk about the bubble bees or something. Um, across from here, you have a brand new flint room. I know you guys love flint. My favorite gambling game of all time. So I'm going to be making it in here. New flint room. Isn't that exciting? It's crazy. We could play every week. I know Cora actually hasn't played flint. So we're going to have to make this for him. Um, I've been working on secrets. Like, there's a secret room right here. I don't know if I'm going to have, like, a door. Or if I'll just have, like, a painting. Because I'm going to have a lot of paintings to flip throw people. Like, thousands of paintings that don't work. And then that one painting that does work. So you're going to be able to go through a painting, maybe. <laughs> Check things out. Um, I know where this leads. And this is, like, leading to that main middle room. And even inside this room, there could be more secrets. There's a secret in here. Which leads to a secret in here. Which leads to the secret to the back cave or something. Something like that. Um, there's a lot. There's a lot to do. If you go um, opposite side, there's a big empty space between um, the walls. I'm gonna fill this in so we can actually see the floor. Um, it's really confusing to look at. You just got to imagine that, like this is yeah, in between the walls. Let me fill it in. So this is all walking space. This is free space. This is underneath the staircase. I can actually destroy this right here. Get more headroom. Um, this leads... Uh, this actually used to be a staircase to the basement, but now we no longer do that. So let me fill this in, and I'll show you maybe what we can do with this secret room. I'm not going to do anything this episode, but we can start getting ideas and talk about it. See? Full circle. Um, I can't break that block. I can break that block. Uh, this can be broken down. And I can, I can't break this. So this is like a hallway that leads into the throne room. I might open this up a little bit. So on the left and right, there are empty spaces. This one's a little bit more clean. So you can go into this door, which is right here. And go into this room, which might be, I might just make this like a, like I might just turn this into a room like this. And then have more secret rooms elsewhere. So it's not just one secret, it's many secrets. Like, for example, now this can be like a broom closet. Right? And yet, secret expanse. Maybe even a secret door. To the basement where we hide the bodies. Exciting. Exciting time. Uh, this is going to be... Uh, uh, what is it? This is, this is the throne room, so we can't really do much here. This is the big expanse of a throne room. Um, we could probably have the door in there lead here and do something with this. I can probably go downstairs or something like that. I have a feeling this throne is a little bit too big. I don't want too many huge rooms in the castle. Excuse me while I get comfy. I want to have some rooms that are uh, kind of tiny, tiny rooms. I, I guess this is the one of the more important rooms. It's the throne room. So uh, whatever, who cares? I'll just make the castle bigger. Like... I complain I have too many big rooms, and yet, like, we can just make the castle taller. It doesn't really matter. So let's just have big rooms. Who cares? I think the main thing is that it takes longer to make the castle feel big. Which is why I always make smaller, uh, what do you call them? Smaller houses, because you can make a small house feel big with less effort. So this is a side room, which can be uh, divvied up into smaller and smaller rooms. Um, and this is directly opposite of that and this leads into over here big th th this little expanse right here this is the flint room opposite of this this can be something else too so many 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 possibilities and this is just the first floor I'm so excited i can't wait to work on this a lot of the secrets i can't work on camera because then people will know about them but who can keep track of all the secrets and i'll change up the secrets in every way like think about this let me let, let me show you something that we can do one day you have a painting right here you go through it you enter that room i can block off that door and make it so that then you go through here it's the same room but the exits or the entrances are different blowing your mind so we're gonna i'm gonna continue to dabble with stuff like that um i the, originally this was going to be a staircase but then i made the staircase right there so now I have more room to 
do stuff, I guess. I still have no idea what I want to make the outside look like. It's kind of interesting. Because I, I honestly don't know. I'm going to have to, like, make some drawings or something. And I don't know any uh, other ideas for rooms. I might make a library, I guess, enchanting room or something. I just have so much space to fill. I still have to make, like, a lot of bedrooms and stuff like that. So, I guess there's not really too much of a rush. Like, I'm, I shouldn't feel like, oh, I'm running out of things to do. I'll just make stupid things, like a swimming pool. Swimming pools are cool. I gotta make the master bedroom, which can be enormous somewhere else. And I guess the castle can get smaller as we build up, so I don't feel like I have all this stuff to do. Who knows? I I'm just really proud of what we have accomplished so far. We still got a lot of empty space here to work on stuff. So... As time goes on, I'll continue. I'll keep you guys updated. But I might want to talk about, at length, maybe some ideas I have for other content on the channel. I'm kind of inspired by podcasts as of right now. Um, getting together with some buds and just talking about like topics that are, are a bit more important, sometimes less important, you know, and, and just speaking our minds. I, I'd love to do that. Maybe you guys are open to that, maybe. Oh, I thought that was like a flying person. Maybe not. Let me know. What do you guys think about podcasts? Like, maybe a Chaos Craft podcast. I, I would kind of kind of want to make it more, like, adult. Not, like, in the sense that we talk about boobs, but, like, just more serious sometimes. You know, just have the option to be serious. Because, you know, sometimes we limit ourselves on our channels so that we can be more family-friendly, but sometimes we want to talk about things that are more important. So... Maybe you guys can give me your thoughts on that as well. And on this staircase, which looks super bland. I don't know what to do with this. I think, um, yeah, we can. the only way to get up here is to take this staircase. So another, an idea that I had in the beginning is that, like, if you want, you have to have different paths to get to different areas of the throne room. So if you want to get to the top floor of the throne room, you got to take a left here. Ooh, and then turn right. And then go up the staircase. And then you're on the floor, top floor. And that's like the only way to get to this level of the, um, of the castle. So, I was thinking, I, I was trying to figure out how to do that. I think I've got it with the way I've set that up. Blocking off certain walls and such. So, I'll continue to dabble with that. Um, what other concerns do I have? I'm going to take a sip of water. I don't know if I want to make a dungeon yet, just yet, <laughs> but um, we don't have a, we don't have a downstairs, we don't have a basement, and basements are the best for secrets, because you can make secret tunnels, mm, that'd be so cool, I, I, I'd love to do that, I just, I once again, I don't have the infrastructure just yet to do that, but I will in the future, let me grab some doors, let's start grabbing some doors in the chest room, so we can start figuring out exactly what we want to do. Um, maybe work a little bit on this. Let me let me check the time. It's been 18 minutes. This is gonna be a long episode just because because I love you guys. You guys are so patient and considerate. I will gift you the gift of long episodes. All right, so let's make some doors. Just a couple doors. Um, I might have to go steal some, some supplies from someone. There's a door there. So you come in here, you have a choice. I'm gonna go this way. Ha, ah, nothing, ha. Ah. But, there might be stuff here. One thing we don't have is multi-level secrets. It's kind of gonna be a little bit difficult. Um, I might figure out something. Like, uh, <coughs> like secret tunnels or stuff, or ways to get up to different areas from down below. So that's why I try to, like, not fill in every little hole so I can have like a like here we go there's a hallway here why not have a hallway right here that leads to something even scarier than you ever thought possible another thing is that there are empty spaces underneath this staircase I'm gonna show you where they are so if you were to climb the staircase all right another thing I might do is have uh have you able to get to this room from the throne room so you could take like you could go in here and then get in here. You know what I mean? Wouldn't that be cool? Wouldn't that be cool? <laughs> Just get like super violent about it. 
So if you go here, and then you take a right, or um, actually, I'd have to go this way. So right here, um, right where the ceiling is, I'm going to make a platform. This is a floor. So right now, I'm on the ceiling. This is the floor of the next floor, pretty much. So I'm just going to cover this up. Um, everything's temporary, as you know. Like, I make a stone brick wall. It's going to be beautiful when I'm done with it. So don't don't you worry. So check this out. We have a secret right here. Right underneath here. And this goes underneath here. Look at all this stuff that we probably wouldn't ever use. So let me... um. Let me make something with this. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So look at this. We have a secret space underneath the staircase. Ah, right there. Yeah. So we can do something with this. We can hide things. Urgh, so exciting. And, um, you know, amongst other things. Like, notice how there's a floor right here going this way. But if I were to have someone, uh, one floor underneath in the same spot, in the same style right here, there would be no staircase. Trip up, tripping up with your mind, because the floor is actually right here. So, um, the next landing is farther away from the wall. It's not close to the wall. That's just how staircases work. So you can hide things underneath the staircases. Um, I kind of have a view out here, and yet we have so much extra space right here. So, I don't know. This might This might be maybe a view... If I make like a big court thing, I don't know. We'll figure something out. And you go to the top floor. Here we are. And you can get to other areas of the castle. This is how you get to that awesome looking thing. Um, I may have messed up on the castle. As you notice, the window is right where you're standing. Where it should be one block up. So I'm going to have to fix a lot of the front castle <laughs> over time. Um... Right, let me eat some of this. I was thinking about going caving. I'm gonna have to go caving and get a lot of stone. Honestly, I got. I'm really poor right now. I'll probably steal from Conman. He won't mind. And then you have all this space up here. Like, what am I gonna do with this? What can I do? Just big open area. Like, what? What do you want? <laughs> Give me suggestions. Um, there's just so much I can do. It's overwhelming. I need suggestions. I'm gonna have to have con men just tell me like all the stuff that he could have. Maybe I have an American flag room just because. Um, it's interesting because the outside is so much bigger than the inside. If you go out here, like, oop, because the castle is long. It's not wide. It's deceiving how big it is. You look at it. It's like, oh, it's from here to here, and yet you get lost. And that's what I want. I want it to feel so much bigger. Like you running, you're running. And you're still running. And you're still running. And you're at the back. And that was just one path out of many. And I could probably still make this longer if I wanted to. If I chose to be insane. Ah, oh, I'm so excited. There's gonna be such crazy... Craziness going on. So, you know... I don't know if there's much left to talk about. You know... I, I, I'm just gonna get back to this. Just letting you guys know that videos will return. Probably live streams are gonna. I'm gonna be doing more live streams because I have time to do that. I could probably live stream in a couple minutes, so I might just do that. You know, I might even be live streaming at the same time as this video goes up. Who knows? But I'm gonna be working more off camera, more talking in the video, and that might change when I get bored. <laughs> but um, if I'm inspired. I'm gonna have to like just do it. I, I can't I can't force it. I can't force the inspiration. And a big part of that was because at the time during college, a lot of the inspiration had to go towards the work I was doing there instead of Minecraft. But now I have I have time. Ah, I'm so happy. So with that guys, I'm gonna leave you leave you with a message. I, I don't know. I had a, I had an idea to have a message and I, I don't have a message. Just just say that I'm back, bro. And look forward to the next video. And, uh, yeah, so stay fancy, my friends, and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye!